What I am talking here is all based on my experience. It is not a bookish knowledge as given in the law colleges. So, each and every step which I am going to explain to you, I have my own experience at least once at some steps more than 10 times. And if you are using RTA matter in co-produced societies, you will find that why others are saying this department is corrupt. I am doing this from 1984 and when in Maharashtra that RTI came in 2002, I started using this and I am successfully using it and getting full success. Now we will go slide wise. So what is society? Now society we can, when a building is constructed, it can be registered as a society in one of the four types. Cooperative housing society. Almost all buildings where you are residing and very few shops are there that can be registered as cooperative housing society. Then cooperative premises society. Cooperative premises society is just like cooperative housing society but it will have all type of premises housing commercial shop go down garage anything even that cooperative housing society can also be registered the premises society there is nothing wrong but when majority of the um, premises are housing so we have to register the housing society then condominium or apartment premises now in condominium it is just like a building but as if you are staying in a bungalow if you are having a plot and in which if you are having a bungalow then it is your own property that plot and the house that you are building it is your own property but thing is that the you cannot afford the land so so many people come together and they reside in a building the way in which they would have resided in their plot with bungalow so that in condominium it may be residential or it may be commercial everybody can sell it on his own without taking the permission of society but to maintain common amenities like staircase light, like um, water, water supply or uh, uh, security that they form an association of condominium and register with the charity commissioner. Okay? It is just to maintain it. Otherwise, each and every person in condominium on his own, they can just sell the premises and go. They need not take anybody's permission. Similarly, that when a repair of condominium building comes, they have to get associated. So therefore, that association of condominium is formed and association of condom registered not with uh, cooperative register but with the uh, uh, charity commissioner. Then limited company premises in Mumbai, there are some premises, whether it is residential, commercial or that uh, combined, that they have formed a limited company, limited premises company, that depending on the uh, area of the flag, they will have the share holding. That way they form it. And this, uh, that condominium, when you register, you have to register in Mumbai with that um, register of uh, uh, register of uh, partnership firm whose office is at government building uh, 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 collector's building at Banda East 
and when you are registering that cooperative housing society of pmiso society respective cooperative uh, uh, societies register of each of the municipal ward that we will have to register that and here when you are registering limited company that register of company with whom you will have to register now this is about the registration and and the administration of the building premises building i say because if i say only housing building that means those who have come with the uh, commercial premises they may be saying they may say that oh, we are not accounted for so i say premises uh, building now after this when you are registering in one of the three types first two types they are at the same places that is register of uh, sorry uh, co uh, that register of cooperative societies and other two that is uh, that condominium with register of partnership firm and limited company with register of uh, uh, company register now here that ownership registration now registration that as on today till first may 2017 it was governed by bofa and after 2000 first may 2017 it was governed by mofa and maharera that rera that is regulatory act for cooperative societies that of government of maharashtra real estate regulatory authority with which that it is um, uh, governed by now here that rera and uh, mofa both are kept in maharashtra this is because that once you get you are building gets <coughs> occupation certificate from municipal team that rera's hold comes to end but mofa even if you are registered as one of the four it still continued till that builder and the land owner gives that registered body ownership of the building and the land that very few people understand that we are uh, registering we are registering the society that means everything is ours or we are registering one of the four everything is ours no that you are if every premises are sold and uh, one of the four organizations formed till that a uh, ownership of this is given that is called conveyance of the building and land is given it is not yours the uh, ownership may be yours but that ownership to make any changes in the building is not in your hand in organization's hand and therefore that conveyance has to be made now we are up to here how you can use that rti for uh, uh, for your societies matter now here convince whether whichever the way you register it is given by competent authority and competent authority for giving the convince is district deputy register of cooperative societies mind it even if you are building a condominium premises society or a public limited company 
that conveyance authority is only him that district deputy register people sometimes misunderstand that our such condominium our such limited company then who will give us con uh, um, that conveyance only that person gives now here when you are stuck up with you are uh, one or the other way uh, of your uh, application that who can handle the complaint i have given for cooperative register cooperative and cooperative housing society in pmc society that deputy register you buy new bylaws in that bylaw number 174 in which all these things are given deputy register can redress 26 types of types of complaints cooperative court can uh, redress 10 types of complaint and civil court can redress five types of complaint municipal corporation or local self government can redress five types police that is local police station three types and society general body meeting seven times and cooperative housing societies district or taluka federation can redress four types apart from this you can go to consumer redressal forum which is popularly known as consumer court where billing related complaint means society charges you more then that complaint you can go there that is not stated in the cooperative housing society bylaws now here deputy register of cooperative societies can uh, uh, in broadly broadly we can uh, 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 see four types of redress four types uh, three types of complaint registration of cooperative housing society membership issue such as transfer or transmission transfer means when you buy the flat or when you give the flat it is transfer and transmission means when somebody dies and it is to be transferred in the name of legatee or the nominee it is called transmission and recovery of dues from the members now here that in this case how you will deal that if you make a complaint lodge a complaint to the deputy register within 30 days of lodging the complaint to deputy register uh, you can make a rti with information officer of the deputy register and if you are not getting any reply everywhere that you have to wait for 21 days to 30 days when you are making a complaint and i advise everybody after 15 days you write a reminder complaint that means your complaint is strengthened and then after 30 days of you are lodging the complaint you write an rti letter to information officer asking him to give you the information give you the information on your letter on which complaint letter given to the uh, concerned officer that is deputy register if that information by information officer is not given to you in 30 days then you can go for first appeal now i request everybody when you are making your first complaint anyway and in the fourth going uh, fourth coming all talk anywhere you go that first you ask that who is information officer and who is first appellate officer information officer of rti and first appellate of, uh, officer of rti are concerned with the same office where against whom you are making the complaint and 
Second appellate officer is state information commissioner. Okay, for everybody. And in our state, there are six, seven information commissioner, depending on the region. For Mumbai, exclusively one information commissioner. And there are six, seven that divisional divisions of the Maharashtra. And for each division, one information commissioner is given. Mumbai comes in Konkan division of divisional commissioner commissionerate. But it is excluded here, and other than Mumbai, all other uh, districts are having of Konkan region that Konkan Information Commissioner, whose office is in Konkan Bhavan, Belapur. Now, here that um, after you make first appeal to the first appellate authority you have to wait for 45 days in 45 days you may get a reply or reply may not be correct reply as you wish okay in which case even if you are not getting reply or if a reply is partly prior or wrong reply in which case you can go to second appellate of authority that is state information commissioner after 45 days of you giving a letter to first appellate officer okay now remember at uh, state information commissioner that is second appellate authority that waiting time is minimum two months when you give the uh, letter that time only they will tell you how many months you have to wait and then you will be called for the hearing. Now here, conveyance. Now conveyance, most of the people and those who come here, they say that we have to pay this much money, that much money. But when I did the commission, uh, conveyance of few societies, I am not found asking me money directly or indirectly, even 5,000 rupees for my work. And everybody is doing work in proper manner. Because I was using RTI. If delay is there, put RTI. They have to reply. Nobody is excused here. Now here, conveyance of the society is given by uh, 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 by builder and the landowner. When you are one of the four types of this one is formed, you go to the builder and landowner. Now our society is formed, then give us conveyance that MOFA access within four months of registration of the body, one of the society or um, condominium or limited company, that builder and the uh, uh, this uh, 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 landowner has to give the conveyance conveyance deed and register it if that is not then done then as per mofa act that conveyance that you are deemed to be given conveyance but somebody has to do a legal order to get the legal order you will have to go for deemed conveyance. When you are going for deemed conveyance application to the uh, cooperative register, that is district deputy register, then when you give the application, that some 45 days time you will have to wait. After 45 days or 30 days, they only tell you when you lodge the complaint, when you lodge the uh, letter. If you are not getting reply, to RTI of the district deputy register, you write uh, to information officer of the district deputy register, you write on RTI letter. Same procedure you follow. And here, that once that conveyance deed is made, then you have to convince order comes from district deputy register. You will have to make convinced deed and you will have to you will have to go for adjudication of convinced deed and registration. Adjudication is done by 
collector of stamps and registration done by sub register of assurances here also that adjudication is done in 21 days and sub register after adjudication you pay the stamp duty on that deed after 21 days nothing comes put your complaint your letter to information officer of that um, uh, stamp uh, collector collector of stamp and then you will get some reply and after paying the stamp duty on your um, uh, conveyance deed you have to go for registration of the deed for registration of deed that competent authority who has given the passed the order has to sign on behalf of the builder and the land owner and he is exempted to come to sub registrar's office for registration he is giving a letter and with which that you have to lodge xerox copy of your signed and stamped conveyance deed to the sub uh, sub register of assurances for registration and there sub register sends notice to the other party that is builder and the land owner whether they have gone to high court for a stay order and they are given just 15 days time and this is done within 15 days of you lodging the xerox copy with the sub register of assurances if such notice is sent to them copy of notice is also given to you at the same time if that is not come forward then you can put an rti to sub registrar's office so this way after registration of the deed after 15 days that time given for stay order is gone then sub registrar will give you a um, uh, this one a appointment for registration of the conveyance deed and will give you a order to pay the registration charges by uh, online with the bank so after you do that then that conveyance deed is registered and after registering the conveyance deed with the certified copy of the conveyance deed you will have to go to talati office to get 7 by 12 extract of the land transferred in the name of society you, you have to go to city survey office to uh, um, um, transfer the uh, property card in the name of the society from the land owner and there also you have to make some application at manila foundation on every tuesday we will give you all these applications most of the lawyers i have found they get the convinced deed and ask this is end of the story that is not the end of the story with that convinced deed you have to go further to city survey office and that um talati's office to get the things changed in the land record and then you can go for the redevelopment or any other things of the society now here that i have explained to you everything whatever i have stated in this all the things now here um rti is not a redressal it, you get the information and after getting the information that uh, say sub register is not re is not re registering you got the information from his officer that you are uh, de deed cannot be registered but no reason is given then with that you will have to go to some other redressal forum those redressal forms are only two one is lok shaidin complaint for municipal complaint lok shaidin is held by municipal commissioner and for other than municipal things that is with the sub register or any other places it is held by district collector both are holding the um, lok shaidin on first monday of the month and specific complaint related to deemed conveyance 
deemed conveyance at any step you are held up, you will go for deemed conveyance adalat. Deemed conveyance adalat is held by district collector on first Monday, sorry, first Saturday or third Saturday of month. You will have to go to your respective district collector and ask him which Saturday you are holding that deemed convenience adalat and according to which we will have to give the um, com uh, complaint to him. Now here, RTA to the redevelopment of the society's building. Now redevelopment of the society's building that up to convenience I have explained to you, redevelopment is held uh, first by um, district deputy register and then by society to choose the um, uh, de developer and then the pass the complaint uh, sorry uh, building plan and other thing is go as uh, held in Mumbai by um, building proposal department of BMC there are four building proposal departments of BMC one department for eastern suburb that is from Chunavati and Mankurd to Mulund area it is LBS mark Ghatkopar that is the um, uh, it is called uh, uh, eastern area and then one for city area that is Kulaba to Sain and Mahim that is in Wadala near Vidyalankar College that is um, uh, building proposal department for Mumbai city and Mumbai western suburb there are two Bandra to the um, uh, Bandra to Jogeshwari west one whose office is at Bandra west near Baba hospital and Gorega to Dhaisar it is west to whose office is at um, Kandivali East Thakur complex it is west to so this way that chief engineer that is a deputy chief engineer building proposal of respect to area you can write RTA that society's building plan is passed and how it is progressed and similarly that uh, building uh, redevelopment is taken by bylaw number 175 of bylaw book 2014 and in which that one government one GR of 3rd January 2009 some six page GR is there in which that every step is given how to follow in which in redevelopment that deputy register of the respect to society and the uh, building proposal department that is its uh, uh, concerned uh, uh, executive engineer of that area are held responsible and you can just write RTA to them and get. Now here RTA under uh, um, redevelopment and under construction building here they are under RAIRA also that uh, for Maharera that for Maharera you can just write letter RTA by, um, by online and payment also is to be made online Maharara has made that uh, facility and you can also get whether your building plan is properly processed and put on the site of Maharara uh, by Maharara site and this Maharara is applicable till your building gets occupation certificate once occupation certificate gets that Maharera uh, is not responsible and therefore that under MOFA you have to go to district deputy register so that for format of RTI and other anything you want it you please write here foundation at moneylife.in or on whatsapp number whatever is given 
and um, uh, here we will uh, give you whatever the format uh, in which you have to write. There are three formats. One format is for uh, writing RTA under um, uh, RTA Act to information officer. Second is first appellate officer after 30 days and second appellate officer after writing to first appellate after 45 days. So all this we are having here and fees is that that 10 rupees that court will stamp below the FX on for first appellate officer and 20 rupees court fee stamp to uh, sorry 10 rupees to information officer and 20 rupees court fee stamp to first appellate officer and second officer.